Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today will be probably my first DIY video. It's going to be the first one I ever shoot. We'll see if it's the first one coming out. That's going to depend if I finish this task today so that I can actually edit the video. And the task at hand today is I'm building my office. I have a ton of things to put together. I want to make it a beautiful space that feels motivating and energized so that not only do I want to be in there, but actually get my work done when I'm in there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So we're going to hop right into that. Uh, I won't be talking a lot in this video, which is something that has definitely made my videos really long in the past. This one will probably be long because this project's probably gonna take me a lot of time. I hope I finish it today. I really want to finish it today. So we'll see, depending on my outfit, if I knock it all out in one day. Um, yeah. So let's get into it. This is the room that I'm going to turn into my office slash guest bedroom. It is a little tight in here, so I got this nice um day bed from ikea that actually pulls out into a king size um because my furniture isn't in this new house yet i've been sleeping on it with my creepy ass baby doll so i'm gonna clear as much of this stuff out of this room as i can so i can wash what i've been sleeping on and move that bed away from the wall so that i can apply the wallpaper Here, I am currently unraveling the wallpaper that I got from the wall. I found it on Etsy. Um, to be completely honest, there were quite a few vendors that had the exact same print. Uh, the first vendor that I tried to buy it from, something was wrong with their website and it wouldn't accept my payment information. So I went with a different one that had the exact same style. But honestly, I found like, maybe four different people on Etsy that had this exact same one. All of them were called something different because I kind of feel like I low-key like screwed over the first company because I didn't give them a chance to fix it. I will not be shouting out who I got this from. Just, you know, if you want peel and stick wallpaper, because that's all this is, is peel and stick. Just look on Etsy, they, they got everything. So this slight pause you saw there. Um, so I put the first one on upside down. And at this point, when I was like, F it, I'm still putting on number two, I didn't think it mattered. Um, it it does, it, it, it matters. Thankfully, this peel and stick wallpaper was super forgiving. As you can see, I had to take it all off and start back over. Also, don't clown me for my wallpaper looking like it might be crooked on the side there because like, it might be my walls. <laughs> it might be me. I don't care, I'm happy I did it. See how that's blending all seamlessly now because I put it on the right way? <sighs> Read the instructions before you start applying wallpaper, everyone. Learn from my mistakes. Ooh. 
While we're learning, I do also want to say a squeegee would have been really nice. Um, I figured it out. You know, I got it. I think I did pretty good for my first time ever applying anything like this and this size. But a squeegee just would have been kind of nice. But now we're going into this window, which gave me its own unique set of problems. Oh, yeah. And the sunset because I took a six hour break. <laughs> I think a less lazy person probably would have traced the window and then put the wallpaper on the floor and then like cut out the shape and size that they needed it to do this all like easy peasy. Uh, but I didn't want to do that. I didn't like this. <laughs> these walls, these sheets of wallpaper are huge. I don't even think I had a space in my house where I could have laid them all out together just like on the floor because I mean I have stuff all over my house so no I did not lay anything down to like trace out where the window was and actually cut it out the right way so I just kind of MacGyvered this as I went along I, I went I went real rogue and I did pretty damn good Yes, this side of the window was in fact way harder than the other side of the window. Now I'm just smoothing out any errant bubbles that I can, because like I said, I ain't got no squeegee. Uh, and also taking off all the trim. Uh, I had left everything kind of messy around the edge of the windows and the floors, because I knew I would get to it later. This is the Hemnes daybed from Ikea, and it was high-key hard to move, probably because my carpet was so thick, probably because I'm a weak-ass bitch out here. Uh, I didn't even build a thing. I had some friends come over and do it for me. Uh, as you can see, I've been struggling trying to get it into place. But look at that. Look at how nice I just pulled out like that.
I feel like a lot of YouTubers already know like exactly what they're gonna do when they start decorating a room before they start even filming it for YouTube. But like, not I said this cat. I had no true clue how I was gonna put these things on this bed. I just knew what color scheme I wanted, picked out what I like, and that it was gonna go in here. Uh, so you're all seeing all this as I thought it through real time. Furniture build time! Started with the chair because I knew it would be an easy kill and make me feel accomplished. This is the beginning of an almost three day nightmare. I'm an idiot, we're gonna start with that. Why the hell was I trying to put this desk together? <laughs> what, why, why didn't I turn this upside down and do it that way? Like, that paper towel was to wipe my sweat. That is a sweat rag. I struggled so much. That desktop is so heavy. And I just, <laughs> I thought it was a good idea to try to put it on top. <sighs> Eventually, my handyman came by with a mallet so you could actually put the pieces together. And I got to start screwing them in. And <sighs> it just, it just didn't eventually pan out. I'm, I'm, I'm just let y'all watch. Just, there's a whole day that's honestly skipped when I had to call in reinforcement. And it started on this side over here that I'm starting on. This frustrating, let me, I'm, a, I'm gonna just cut the mic off because if I have this on while I watch myself go through this, I can't, I just won't. This is not a new computer. Um, this is my old computer that I was using while I was still in Korea. I just save boxes for everything. I know that I'm gonna move all the time, so I keep the original boxes. They were closed good enough, but the movers always feel like they gotta add a little bit of tape on there. So this is me trying to take that off so I can set up my actual desktop computer. No, I'm not one of those MacBook YouTubers. I got a real computer here that still probably costs less than a Mac.
So I was really trying to figure out the best way to set up these cords because one, I don't want to see cords all over the place while I'm, you know, trying to make my work sanctuary. But two, I also wanted the desk to still be kind of mobile. If ever I do have company over that wants to sleep on the full pullout version of that day bed, I will have to push this desk up against the wall. So I need however I place the cords to not be so stationary that they're in the way of moving the desk um but stationary enough to where I don't think they're ugly as hell And that is all I have when it comes to you guys seeing what I did to set up my office uh, as I continue to unpack because I recorded this about two weeks ago uh, more things found their way into my office uh, so it is more full it is more homey that entire three shelf thing is full now with books and whatnot that I found while I was unpacking my things um, it is very nice in here. Um, I'm very comfortable. I'm very happy and I feel very motivated. And I wanna say I'm very sorry that this video is so late. I've had a hard time unpacking and I just found my microphone so I could do these voiceovers. So microphone has been found. This video is up now and you will get another one soon of me unpacking my closet as well as some other videos, some more content. You know, just keep a lookout. You know, I ain't taking no eight month hiatus again, I promise. Just get my life in order in this new house. And if you liked this video, make sure to like this video. Leave a comment down below if you absolutely adore my office as much as I do, or I guess if you absolutely hate my office sure 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 let me know i guess um and if you have any questions about anything that i have here it's all pretty simple stuff but yeah go ahead and leave it in the comment section i will get back to you and i will see you guys around bye